to sustain an air operation so far from your homeland, you need infrastructure. You need somewhere for the jets to land. You need somewhere to maintain them. You need uh, to house and to feed the crews uh, and their pilots, as well as supporting staff. And for that, you really need a big base. So when uh, Russia got this plot of land, there was nothing on it. They even had to lay the asphalt. But since then, they've uh, come a long way in a very short period. We can't very well go around pointing our camera wherever uh, we will due to security concerns, but the base's staff has agreed to show us around. And this is the mobile field kitchen that serves all the Russian troops stationed here. The cooks and even most of the ingredients are brought in uh, all the way from Russia. Juice as well, shipped in or transported uh, by sea, flown in in some cases. In the best traditions of any military force anywhere, the uh, food is as colorless as it gets. But we've been told it's uh, very nutritional, suited to Syria's very hot and sometimes even harsh climate. These are the mobile uh, kitchens. They serve up to 130 people. In fact, they've even set up their own uh, bakery. Fresh bread, still hot, made of flour, shipped in all the way from Russia. In a short period of time, we erected tens of objects of field infrastructure, such as refueling points and storage depots, as well as bakeries and laundry facilities. These may look familiar. NATO used similar shelters in Afghanistan. They're called habitation units, also known as shipping containers with power and air conditioning, painted white to reflect sunlight. And here you have the uniform designed specifically for hot, arid climates like the one you have here in Syria. And it really is the whole shebang. You have two different hats, T-shirts, uh, jackets, trousers, socks, boots. These uh, may look bulky, but we've been told uh, they're made for the desert pretty lightweight, but when they do get heavy, for soldiers who are off duty, they're allowed to wear these. And I know what you're thinking, but for the pilots, crews and Russian personnel stationed here, fashion isn't exactly high on their list of priorities. Discipline on base is strict, no surprise, given that jihadists are said to be less than an hour's drive away. But what we stumbled on next was surprising. And just to show you how seriously they take troop morale around here, this is an authentic 100% military grade, get this, sauna. Have a look. Again, brought in all the way from Russia for the troops' use. They've just got it going, but poor, is it hot in here. But on a more serious note, uh, the troops and the crews serving here, they're far from home. Uh, far from their loved ones in a hostile environment. So every little bit helps. Morad Gazdiev, RT in Syria.